hello and welcome again to my channel and also to my last christmas card video and this one is very bright and very colorful christmas bubble card all the supplies will be listed in the description box below for this card i'm gonna start with painting my christmas bubbles and i'm using gold pink and violet paint to do this My bubble die cards are made with a 300 GSM watercolour paper and it makes it super easy to move the watercolour paint around and just soak it up with water and blend it and do all the beautiful things you can do with watercolours. It's actually quite late um, when I'm editing this video and doing this voiceover. I'm traveling tomorrow but I really wanted to have this re video ready to post uh, before Christmas. So here I'm just stamping some patterns and some sentiments onto my Christmas bubbles and I'm using archival ink and also these stamps they were freebies that came with one of my stamping magazines. I don't know about you but I really like the combination of these colors of that pink, purple and gold. I think it looks really nice. Here I'm adding some black cardstock for contrast to my background and here I'm painting my background for the bubbles and I'm using two turquoise colors. I've actually painted this um, before but I've added some leaves and I didn't like that pattern. I didn't like how it turned out. So I just flipped that paper over and I painted on the other side. I'm drying in the little bit, but also you see me using some tissue here just to add a little bit of texture to that paper. To add a little bit more interest to this background, I added some stars which I drew with white gel pen and here I'm just using white acrylic ink and I'm adding some white splashes and here you see me using a white soft pastel and a cotton bud to create the glow around the stars. So here you see this background that I've made before. I really didn't like how those leaves turned out. I didn't like them just behind the bubbles. I thought it was way too busy and it was a no-no for me. I just used the glue stick to attach the first bubble to the card but for the second one I'm using foam tape but in a single layer and the third bubble I will attach with a double layer of foam tape to create that 3D effect. I'm adding some strings to the bubbles and I've actually noticed that my pink one is pretty much directly below the purple one so I kind of had to go slightly to the side and I know from the point of physics this is absolutely not possible but this is not physics this is crafts 
and it is allowed. So this is fourth and last card that I've made this year for this Christmas season. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you haven't seen the other three, please check them out. There is a playlist on my channel. Have a lovely Christmas and I'll see you soon. Bye bye.